is a musical form where a melody is presented in one voice and imitated in a second voice after a short, after delay. A short delay. There are numerous nice and catchy canons we all know from our childhood, such as Fröre Schacke or Row, Row, Row the Boat, but also mind-blowing, super complex, mathematically sophisticated canons by composers throughout music history. And just to name a few names, Guillaume Dufay, Johann Sebastian Bach, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Josef Haydn, Beethoven, Brahms, Monsieur, Steve Reich and many, many more wrote canons in all shapes and styles. The word canon comes from Greek and means law, accepted principle or rule. In church, a canon is an official, originally a priest who was under the authority of a bishop, under someone else's rule. We also know the word canon referring to writings or other works that are generally agreed to be great, important and worth studying, like the biblical canon, the Shakespeare canon or the canon of medicine. There is also canon, the Japanese photo camera company, and Canon, a small city in northeast Georgia, USA. In music, the term refers to the strict rules that make a canon. The initial melody is the rule, the law which needs to be followed. The round is the most strict and simple version of a canon, known by us all from folk and child songs. It's called a round or an infinite canon because when you finish the melody you can just start at the beginning again and go round and round and round. The entrances are usually marked with numbers above the stave. Row, row, row the boat, gently down the stream. Row, row the boat, gently down the merrily, 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 where the imitated melodies are accompanied by a bass line. It happens that one of the most famous canons ever written is an accompanied canon and it's hardly any introduction. We don't know when or for what occasion Johann Bachelbel wrote this canon in D major for three violins and a bass. We can see and hear that each imitation of the melody enters two bars apart. was an important figure in German Baroque music, well regarded within his own lifetime and a friend of the Bach family. But his work was mostly forgotten and out of fashion after his death. That is, until the 1960s and 70s, when the canon was rediscovered, recorded and suddenly used in several pop songs and in film music. When talking about more complex versions of canons, there is one outstanding figure who needs to be mentioned, Johann Sebastian Bach. His playfulness and invention of this simple musical form is incredible. He contributed enormously canonic repertoire and pushed the boundaries wherever possible. The musical offering and the Goldberg variations are just two works containing examples of his vast canonic output. The way Bach notated his canon often left the musician to figure out how it actually works. A musical quiz. Sometimes difficult like hardcore Sudoku. If you imagine all the different clefs, mirrors and craps to figure out. A few examples. A crap canon is where the melodic line played backwards accompanies the melody in its original form. <laughs>
The mirror canon involves the leading voice being played alongside its own inversion. There are also spiral canons, when the melodic line of the canon ends in a different key from which it began. The canon is then repeated until the tonic, the initial key, is reached again. And tempo canons, which use rhythmic augmentation or diminution, where the following line doubles or halves the rhythmic values. The real party starts when you combine the different versions and have two or three canons running at the same time, doing different things. The canon Bach is holding in his hand, in the famous portrait from 1748, is an example of three canons for six voices. I want to finish my little canon journey with Mozart and one of his very charming interval canons. The name describes the different entry notes of each voice. So rather than imitating at the same pitch, the second voice imitates a note above the leader melody and the third voice a sixth below. Auf das Wohl aller Freunde, jeder lebe, lebe hoch. Cheers, my friends, live well and happy.